All right, here we have the uh, the heart on the uh, interior view. This is going to be superior vena cava. Um, we're going to have your SA node, sinoatrial node. We have your right ventricle here, pectinate muscles here. We have your foramen ovale before birth here, fossa ovalis after birth. We have a coronary sinus here, atrial ventricular node in here, tricuspid valve here, which goes into the uh, right ventricle, chordae tendinae, papillary muscles attach, trabeculae carnae is all down here. Um, we're going to have your pulmonary, uh, pulmonary trunk, which is going to have your pulmonary semilunar valve. <clears throat> Left ventricle, here, on the back we have pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins, same ones, pulmonary veins, left atrium, bicuspid valve here, left ventricle, same stuff, chordae tendinae, papillary muscles, trabeculae carnae, aortic semilunar valve here, ascending aorta, aortic arch. Now the physiology of it. Oh, and we also have the left and right coronary arteries. Left and right. Blood's going to drain from the inferior uh, inferior vena cava down here and the superior vena cava here into the right atrium. SA node is then uh, sends a depolarization wave down the walls here down to the tricuspid valve. Blood is passively filling up here through the atrium into the right ventricle. Blood fills up about 80%. Depolarization wave gets sent down here to the tricuspid valve. Sends the blood, the rest of the blood down here, in, or, uh, atrium contracts, sends the rest of the blood here into the right ventricle. Chordae tendinae tightens up and closes the uh, atrium. Uh, once the depolarization wave is down here, it gets sent down here through the Purkinje fibers via the bundle of Hiss simultaneously on both sides. Same with the atriums. Once uh, the chordae tendinae closes and the ventricles are filled up, depolarization is here, contracts both ventricles simultaneously, sending the blood through below. Both semilunar valves. Stop it. Let me restart.